Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about the law of Demeter. So this law helps me to have a good coding practice. It helps me to avoid stinky code in my product. In a simple way, what it says is only talk to your immediate friends. For example, when I try to design a class and write a method and this law is saying only talk to your immediate friends. In another way, don't talk to strangers. So let's see in detail what exactly this statement means with a code example. So let's see an example for law of Demeter in Java. So I've written a class called law of Demeter in Java and there are some objects here and there is a, a method which is called as good examples and it has an object called pizza so what it says is say you have a class and you have some methods in it it's okay to call your own methods which is good actually and it's also okay to call methods on the object that is passed to your method for example there is an object passed to your method and you can call the object on it it's okay and it's also okay to call methods on any objects that you create within the method for example i have a class so i create an object and then i call a method on it so this is also fine. So what are the examples for bad practice? So what the Demeter law say is don't call these strangers. For example, you have an object, you called a method, but we are going beyond the limit. Like we are trying to call a stranger. We don't know what will happen to this method or to this object. There might be a change happen to this object. So we are calling a stranger. Even worst cases, we are trying to call a method on an object at a different level. So we are not trying to call our friends, but we are trying to call our a stranger so that's what this law says don't talk to strangers but try to talk to only friends so we saw basics of law of Demeter. let's see now benefits of it so the benefits are your class will be loosely coupled because you have more control and your dependencies are reduced and the next one is reusing of classes will be easier and also your classes are less subject to changes in other class it's a good practice that when someone changes it should not affect your class and it makes easy to test your code and finally the class which is designed in this way proven to have very less errors friends i have explained about the basics of law of demeter a very good coding practice which i learned hope this small information is useful all the best for your career thank you